Hey Polish peeps, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. You guys, we are doing a full day of hauls today. Like I'm just sitting here in my room, not in my craft room because your girl is off today and I'm trying to relax. Um, we're just sitting here. We're just talking about polishes. I'm trying to get through all these hauls because if you've been watching my previous videos, I feel like I sound like a broken record maybe <laughs> if you're watching all of my haul videos. Um, yeah, I'm moving. So my polish room is in the process of being taken apart and I just really wanted to just sit in my room and just relax and talk to you guys about the polishes that I have forgotten that I even bought because they've been sitting around for so long um, that I've just have no idea when I got them, where I got them or, or anything. But I'm going to show them to you because it's fun and I love doing that with you guys. And I'm going to do it from the comfort of my bedroom. <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying my haul videos. Um, my plan is to kind of just put them up um, and have them scheduled to release over the next month and a half while I'm trying to move. So it won't seem like I've just taken a vacation from YouTube and you guys will still get to enjoy some content from me. Um, I may throw in, I'm going to try to throw in some other things here and there content wise um and maybe i'll throw in some videos about my move i don't know i don't i don't know we're gonna see but for today we're just gonna go through another basket of polish that i have here and um yeah that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so um y'all can i don't know grab a drink or something they haven't been really going lasting that long we're gonna try to keep them in between 15 20 minutes so that's not too bad um so yeah let's just get started going through another basket of polish okay you guys so i don't i have no idea how this happened but this actually happens to be a whole basket of mainstream polishes um if you guys have been watching my hauls for a while or, you know, if you've been watching my hauls at all, pretty much. Um, I don't buy a lot of mainstream polish. I have become a very much indie polish girl. Um, but I do sometimes, maybe like when I'm out of town, if I see something that I haven't seen before in my city, you know, I might pick it up. And somehow, I guess they all managed to get into this basket. I think the next basket also has some mainstream polishes in it. But, um, I mean, it's kind of fun to step out of the indie box because not everybody can do indie. Um, but let's just face it, indie polishes are expensive, but some mainstream polishes are getting expensive too. So it just kind of depends on, you know, what you can afford. We are not all millionaires. So I, I'm going to enjoy sharing this, uh, mainstream polish with you guys and hopefully it's still available maybe you can find it somewhere in your location i have no idea how long it's been in this basket a long time i can go ahead and tell you that um but hopefully it is still um able to be found somewhere so it looks like i have a couple of polishes from morgan taylor um and I'm pretty sure I bought these at Sally's because sometimes when I go in Sally's, I lose my mind <laughs> and I buy polish, even though I literally have every color. But if there's something unique about it, I'm going to pick it up. This one has a really pretty, and this is like, um, not metallic. I don't, I don't know what you call this formula, but it definitely has a really pretty, um, light delicate shimmer going through it and it is like a maybe like a lilac I would call it a lilac from Morgan Taylor and it is called all the Queens bling um, and if you don't know purple is my favorite color I need all the shades of color of purple in every formula possible so this definitely called to me because it's purple I also picked up a pink and it's because it has this really pretty gold shimmer. Um, this is Hip Hot Coral. This is definitely a summer spring polish. I could definitely see this on my um, toes and 
you guys aren't really going to be able to see that shimmer as much as I can see it in person, but it's really pretty. If I hold it back here, maybe you can see it a little better, but definitely not typically what I see when I come across Morgan Taylor's. So definitely unique um, and definitely bright for summer. Um, I also got one from Finger Paints. I think this is a topper off to the collage. Is it up? I think it's off to the collage. We're going to go with that. And it has silver and blue, looks like white, like um, glitters. And they're like navy glitters. That's really pretty. I think, I mean, you might be able to get this opaque in three coats, but I also think it would be really pretty as a topper. I'm going to stop right here because I have now done two videos without talking about what's on my nails. And I'm going to have to do like editing Ebony to um, add that onto the other two, video <laughs> other two videos. Um, no, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to do that for all the videos. So at the end of the video, if you would like to know what's on my nails, it will be at the end of the video because I will just do one video and just tag it onto all of the haul videos because I'm going to be wearing the same polish. That's a lot easier because I keep forgetting to talk about that. But yeah, that's finger paints um, off the call off the collage. I also got it's all in illusionism. I think that's that's not a real word, but that's what it says. Illusionism. And it is a another finger paint. It's pink with a gold. Oh, it's there's a shifty shimmer, which is definitely unique for this brand of finger paints, but it's gold and blue, it looks like, or gold and silver. There's even like some pink, y'all. This is very unique for finger paints. So that's really pretty. And it's like a peachy pink. I have one from Koki and it is, looks like just a basic cream. This is Cayenne. So it's like a orange, um, but there's something unique about it. I got it cause there's something unique about it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't, I don't, maybe I don't have this color <laughs> orange in my collection. Y'all I have an insane amount of polishes, but maybe I don't have this color cream orange in my collection. We'll just go with that. It's, it's more like a, um, what's the other terracotta? It's more like a terracotta orange, which I have a terracotta orange in my collection. So I probably have something like that. <laughs> I have one from Sally Hansen and it's purple. So I'm sure that's why this one called to me whenever it called to me, this is Saturn it up. And I really honestly should put more mainstream polishes. I mean, I do put some on there, but I should put more mainstream polishes on my polish racks to wear because I typically will wear my indies before I wear mainstream. So they just don't get the love that they deserve because there really are some really good mainstream polishes out there. And a lot of times they're just as good as indies, just maybe they don't last as long or something like that, which for me doesn't matter because I paint my nails every day. Pretty much every now and then, like if I go on a vacation or something, I won't, I'll maybe keep a polish on for like three days, but, um, mainstream polishes will last at least a day. So I should really give them a little bit more attention than I do. Note to self. Um, so this is Ruby pumps and I have a, if you, if you know, you know, Ruby pumps is classic China glaze. It's really gorgeous, beautiful red. Um, and I have a, like a mini bottle of this one. And so I remember, and I think this is on China Glaze's like forever line. So you could definitely pick this one up if you don't have it. I highly recommend this one. It's really pretty on the nails. Um, but I needed a large bottle. <laughs> so I picked it up so I could have a large bottle of Ruby Pumps because my mini one I've used probably three or four times and it's not going to last forever. So I needed a full bottle. So that's Ruby Punks. If you don't have it, definitely pick that one up. Um, I don't know what this is. Platinum grade finish. It's a top coat. 
So it's just an Essie top coat. And now I'm like, why have I not used this? Or why did I pick this up? Um, I don't know. But maybe I just wanted to use an Essie top coat. So it is platinum grade finish. Um, and that's all it says. Top coat. So I will put this with my collection of top coats and use it at some point. Uh, I don't, it's just been sitting in this basket for probably at least a couple of years now and um, not getting any use. So there's that. Um, I also picked up this one um, from CVS. I know because this is paparazzi and that's the only place I've really seen paparazzi polishes. I don't know if they sell them anywhere else. Maybe y'all know if they sell them anywhere else, but every now and then when I go in CVS, I'll look on the rack and I'll see a paparazzi, paparazzi polish that kind of jumps out at me for one reason or another one, and for one reason or another. And this one jumped out at me because of this gorgeous hollow. Oh my gosh, y'all. That's so pretty. Now, because it is a mainstream and this brand is, is super cheap. I mean, you can get them like two for five dollars or something like that. Um, this is Vacation Vibes, in case you guys run into CVS and want to pick this one up. Um, I don't know how apparent the hollow will be on the nails. Maybe that'll be the difference between a mainstream and an indie brand for this one, but it's definitely bling blingin' in the bottle. Um, so typically if you can see it in the bottle, you can see it on the nails, but with hollow, it's, it's kind of weird anyway, because sometimes you can only see it in sunlight. But regardless, this is a really pretty blue. So I'm glad I picked this one up and I don't understand why I have been ignoring it. <laughs> yeah, my dog is um, crying at the door. So I'm going to let her in real quick. Okay, so Piper's in the house. So just FYI, I had to let her up here. I'm going to put her on the floor, but... Um... <laughs> She's being all extra right now because she knows that I... I, you know, will put her up here for a minute and then put her on the floor. And she doesn't want to go on the floor, but she's my baby. Can you say hi? Hmm. Can you say hi? <laughs> she definitely doesn't want to go on the floor, but she's got to go on the floor. Oh, please. Okay. So if you feel, if you hear her little feet, you put her pattering. Oh, gosh. This is why she has to go on the floor. <sighs> Dog hair everywhere. If you hear a little feet pitter pattering, that's that's her on the floor. So, um, I have Twinkle Twinkle from Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and this is a topper. And I'm guessing I just felt like I needed a topper with these glitters. They are round. This is iridescent, right? I say I call it iridescent, and then I'm like, is this iridescent? This is iridescent, right? I think this is iridescent glitters. So that's super unique. Um, I'm also kind of curious if these glitters come out or if it's very base heavy. So that will be, yeah, it looks like they, they come out pretty good. Like that's, oops, hold on. that's pretty good for them coming out on the, on the, um, on the brush. So yeah, we'll see how that works on the nails. I have another paparazzi, and this one is a gorgeous multi-chrome, which, again, paparazzi, I don't think they do multi-chromes that much. So I picked this one up because maybe I just hadn't seen a paparazzi multi-chrome. This is Dance Hall Queen, and also because it's purple. But look how pretty that is. Like, this is really good for a... Two dollars and fifty cent polish because typically you can get them for two for five dollars. Like that, that's that's not just me thinking that. Like that's good, right? Like that's a, a gorgeous multi chrome. So we'll see how opaque that is on the nails. And yeah, that's that's really nice for a mainstream polish. I have another one from Sally Hansen. This looks like a topper, and it is white and black and silver. There's silver glitters in here. Yeah, silver glitters. Really cute topper. Looks like that I probably could have worn for Christmas, but I could also maybe pull it out for 
for winter. But after I get through all of these polishes in the haul, they're going to get wrapped up and go in a box. So I probably will not get around to this for Christmas, but not Christmas, for winter. Because winter will probably be over before I get that out of a box. Um, I have another one from Goki. This is Feeling Lucky. I know I bought this one with the intention of wearing it for St. Patrick's Day. So maybe I'll pull this one out for St. Patrick's Day if I can remember. If I can remember that I have bought this for St. Patrick's Day because that's really pretty. And I don't know if this is going to be a topper or a um, like a full mani. Y'all, why do dogs chew on everything? Like she always has something in her mouth. Do y'all hear her? Do y'all hear her chewing? Like, why? <laughs> I don't understand. It's just, it sounds like paper or something. I'm like, why can't you just not chew on all the paper? I just, I really don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna move these around because these are the same. So I can talk about them at the same time. Okay, so I have one from... Um, this is Black Heart Beauty, and so this comes from, what is the name of that store? Hot Topic? I think it's Hot Topic. It carries this brand, Black Heart Beauty, and sometimes when I go in Hot Topic, I will come across one that I'm like, oh, I need to try that. So this is Stargazer, and it looks like a really pretty topper. Um, I feel like the base is maybe tinted a little bit, but that could just be me and maybe in a clear base with green glitters and white matte glitters. I think that's what's going on. And it looks like it also has some gold glitters in it, but that's super unique. It was enough for me to pick it up. Um, I don't go in Hot Topic much. I'm like, I may go in there maybe twice a year. So when I go in there, I do try to pick up, um, a polish from them. And usually their formulas are pretty good too. So if you ever happen to be in Hot Topic, you might want to check out some of their polishes. Um, here's another one that I picked up from Hot Topic. This one is a silver holographic and it is called Stargazer, Stargaze, Stargazer Shimmer. And um, yeah, it's just a really pretty silver holographic. I have multiple silver holographic holographics in my collection, but I wanted to y'all focus. I wanted to try this one because it's mainstream and I was like, well if that hollow is popping as much as it is in this bottle, that's gonna be on. Yeah, that's really pretty. I really like that one. And then the last one that I picked up from Hot Topic is called Iridescent Peacock. And y'all, it definitely reminds me of the peacock. It's like a I don't maybe it's a dual chrome, but it's shifting from blue to green and it's really pretty y'all aren't gonna be able to see that shift yeah like it's just coming across as blue oh, there's the shift a little bit so that'll be interesting to see how that is on the nails too that like that looks like it's gonna be really pretty and also like what for mainstream that's that's pretty good um, I have another Sally Hansen, and I think this is a topper. I'm pretty sure this is a topper. It's got, like, pink and blue glitters, and it is called No to Conformity. Who knows what that's really referring to, but it's really pretty, so I'm sure I picked this one up because I do like to pick up fun toppers just to have some, you know, something different to do with my polishes, especially if I'm wearing... Just a cream or only have time to paint my nails or if you paint your nails and you don't like what you've got going on in your nails you can always add a little something with a topper and change it into something that you like that's definitely a possibility so i do like to pick up fun toppers for that reason um so i have a couple from simple colors y'all i never find simple colors anymore i'm not even sure how i got these like where are they like sometimes i'll find them in big lots um i know walmart carries them but they're usually pretty basic unless maybe like a new collection comes out or something sometimes i'll get them at, at walmart but 
for the most part, I never see simple colors anymore. And that makes me so sad. This one is um, apparently extraterrestrial effects. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have no idea, but it is a um, like shimmery purple. And I don't know if it's supposed to be a topper or what, but I picked it up because it had this little sticker on here and I was like, oh, that means it's special. So let me pick that up. <laughs> it says, Sweeties, Sweeties, maybe it's Sweeties, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to figure out what that means. We're going to figure out what extraterrestrial effects means because I have this one called Icy Monster and I picked up another one called Balin, Balian, also extraterrestrial effects in like a, mm, I don't know what kind of color this is, but it also has white bar glitters in it. Um, this is like a peach, maybe? Focus. Yeah, it looks like it's a peachy color. Like a warmer tone peachy color. That's what it looks like to me. But it's really pretty. And it also, yes. <coughs> so much hair. Um, also, yes, has white bar glitters in it. I picked up a few from um, Dollar General. You want to go to your local Dollar General, then your local Dollar General, and get some Believe Beauty. They have a lot of polishes. Um, they have really added to their line of polishes um, over the over the course of this year. So I picked up a few from them. This is Midnight in Paris. Not super unique to my collection, but a really pretty blue. And then I picked up um, like a lavender. This is called a pre ski. I don't even know how to say that. Is it a pre ski? Y'all, I just let her in. Why? What does she want? <laughs> anyway, really pretty lavender. I'm going to have to let her out because she's driving me nuts. Or, here, let me just put her up here so she can stop. Maybe she'll lay down. Okay. And then I have another one. This is a different color purple. This is Surprise Party. This is Jelly Glaze nail polish, so maybe it's a jelly formula, but it also has like a purple shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer. Maybe you can see it a little bit. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light in here. Yeah, that didn't do anything. <laughs> didn't change anything, but I was trying to get you a little bit more light, but there is a shimmer in there. And this is... um. A different purple like this is more like a this is more lavender and this is I don't they're not this is more blue and this is purple I would say this is more blue okay and then I have some from um, LA colors um, these have some have a shimmer in them so this is a blue with a purple shimmer and it's called Chaotic. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer. Oh, you can see it there just a little bit. It's a really, really, really pretty blue. Oh, we're going past our 15, 20 minutes, y'all. I'm trying to stay within the 15, 20 minute range. Um, apparently, I was needing some neons. So I got um, Day Glow from LA Colors. And <clears throat> yeah, um, LA Colors actually lasts pretty long on my nails so i don't know if you, if you guys are not familiar with this brand it's super cheap you get like a dollar is it a dollar maybe a dollar um and i can get a good two or three days wear with a good base top coat with these so it's not too bad for a mainstream brand this is squeeze and y'all i don't even know I don't like yellow. 
I don't. It's the it's the color of polish I hate. I no, I don't hate. I wear the least. I don't hate. But this has a shimmer. It's like a metallic formula. So I don't have anything like this in my collection. Definitely not in yellow. So maybe that's why I picked that up. I also picked up a pink. Did I show you guys this one? No, I showed you the blue. This is a pink with a blue shimmer. And y'all have probably seen these because they've been in this basket for a hot minute. This is a green with the same shimmer. Wait, let me tell you guys the name of that one. This is Pinka Perfect. And this one is Lyrical. And it is green with a blue shimmer. And then I also picked up another yellow for some strange reason. This is a different color, different kind of yellow. It's like an orangey yellow. This yellow is not that bad. I can do this. This is Citrus Bright, but there's nothing extra in this one. It's just a basic cream, which is odd for me because why in yellow? <laughs> I don't know. And then I also have another um, in Sally, in Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is from their Mentos collection. I just thought this was really cute. It was the only one out of the collection that I picked up that I decided I really wanted and thought was kind of unique. Not unique to my collection because I have something similar to this, but not from Silly Hansen, so apparently I needed it. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're a little bit over 15, 20 minutes, but I got distracted. I got the dog and I got stuff going on. But anyway, if you are joining me for the first time and you enjoyed my haul video consider subscribing i would love to have you join me um give it a thumbs up so i know i'm doing a good job and hit the notification bell because i'm so so random if you really want to know when i post videos you'll want to hit that notification bell so it lets you know i think i have a few more baskets to do i don't know at least a few more baskets i'm trying to get through all of them today so you guys will notice as you're going through watching my haul videos um i'm wearing the same shirts same no makeup face and um you know same everything that's because we're doing a what would we call this like a a haul marathon <laughs> maybe we'll call it that I don't know um anyway but yeah thank you guys I love you guys so so much um hopefully you guys are um because it's the Friday before New Year's Eve um Hopefully you guys are making plans for New Year's Eve and thank you for supporting my channel and for watching me talk about all the nail polish and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, y'all. So this is the, the video I'm going to tag on to the end of all of my videos that I'm doing today because there will be questions about what's on my nails and I didn't want to leave that information out. So I pulled this polish yesterday off of my winter rack. This is Wildflower Lacquer Jeweled Tinsel from the Tangled Tinsel Collection. And y'all, y'all, <laughs> I am in love with this polish. Like, seriously. Um, I will be surprised if this doesn't make my top 20, which is also a video that I was planning to record today. Um, we'll see. Um, but definitely, oh my gosh, this is so stunning so if y'all have this polish definitely pull it out wear it y'all I went super short on my nails I know y'all are used to seeing me with long nails but I'm moving and I didn't want my nails to break so I cut them down super short but you know I'm kind of digging my short nails so I'll probably definitely keep them like this for a month or two while I'm in the process of moving because that's a lot of stuff and I don't want my nails breaking but yeah Jewel tinsel, y'all. That's what's on my nails. And it's so, so pretty. Like, what? Look at that shimmer. Gorgeous. Anyway, that is it. Bye!